Um, so I just want to quickly explain, um, in question four of the exam, uh, you have to divide, you have to take 15 and divide it by 10,000 10, at some point. And if you use your calculators, which is what you should be doing, to do that, it tells you that it's 1.5 by 10 to the minus 3. Um, so this format of writing a number is called scientific notation. Um, another version of it is standard form. Okay, um, And it's quite easy to go from a regular decimal to scientific notation and back again. So if I convert this to a regular decimal, basically multiply by 10 to the minus 3 means you're dividing by 10 three times. Okay, So if you're multiplying by 10, you would have done this in like primary school. You move the decimal to the right, and if you're dividing by 10, you move the decimal point to the left. Okay, so like if I took a number like 624.298, and I wanted to make that number 10 times bigger, I'd take this decimal point here and I'd move it into here. So it would become 6242.98, and that's 10 times bigger. Or if I were to take the 624.298 and I wanted to divide it by 10, or we could say multiply by 10 to the minus 1, so that is the same as divided by 10. Okay? Then I would move it one step to the left and end up with 62. That's not a 6. End up with... 62.429 which is 10 times smaller okay so basically that's what it's based on okay so this is what your calculator is showing you 1.5 by 10 to the minus 3 so we're going to take 1.5 and we're going to 10 to the minus 3 is the same as dividing by 10 three times okay so when we're dividing we move the decimal point to the left so I might just, sorry, I might just take this down here just have a bit of room. So 1.5, and I'll move the decimal point to the left. So divide by 10 once, the decimal point will go here. So I'll have 0 0.15. That's once. Divide by 10 again, it will go here. So I'll have 0 0.015. And then three times, so one more time, divide by 10 again, so you get 0 0.0015. And that is your scientific notation into a regular decimal. The old Casio calculators used to switch between them, but it, the new ones don't seem to do that anymore, so you have to be able to switch it yourself. Is that all right? So if this pops up on your calculator, that's how you do it. If it's a minus power, you're dividing, and dividing means move the decimal to the left. And if it was a positive power, so if that was 10 to the 4, for example, that would mean you're multiplying, which is moving the decimal to the right. Okay, so hopefully that helps a little bit with that question.